Hello viewers, in this video we are going to represent a very important microbiological test which is detection of E. coli. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. Be with us, be a laboratory expert. We can detect E. coli by following 7 steps shown in the display. To conduct the experiment, we need balance machine, microwave oven, biological safety cabinet, incubator, stomacher machine, stomacher bag, autoclave, micropipette, petri dish, pipette tips, spatula, inoculating loop, peptin, sodium chloride, chromocult coliform agar, EC broth, yoshin methylene blue agar, and sorbitol McConkey agar. Before going for the main test, just take a look at the media and diluent preparation. To prepare chromocult coliform agar, dissolve 2.65 grams of dehydrated agar media in 100 ml distilled water. Boil the media at 100 degrees Celsius in microwave oven or hot plate. Rotate the flask to mix the content. Apply heat if required but do not overheat. Pour 15 ml into a sterile petri dishes and allow the plates to cool and become solidified. For the preparation of EC broth, dissolve 1.85 grams of dehydrated media into 50 ml distilled water. Shake to dissolve the medium completely. Now transfer 10 ml to screw capped test tubes. Autoclip the medium at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. To prepare EMB agar, dissolve 3.6 grams dehydrated media into 100 ml distilled water. Autoclave at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. Distribute 15 ml into sterile plates. To prepare a smack, dissolve 5 grams dehydrated media into 100 ml distilled water. Autoclave at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. Distribute 15 ml into sterile plates. Now we will prepare the diluent. Take 0.5 gram pepton into a large flask. Now add 4.25 grams of sodium chloride. Dissolve the content in 500 ml distilled water. Shake to mix well. Autoclip the pepton salt solution at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. Now we are ready for sample preparation. Take 25 grams of sample into a sterile stomacher bag.
dilute the sample with 225 ml of autoclave and cooled peptone salt solution. Label the bag with sample ID. Now mix the diluted sample using a stomacher machine. The sample is prepared successfully. This step is for the selective enrichment of E. coli. We will use two EC broth tubes for trial 1 and trial 2 to enrich E. coli of the sample. Attach a sterile tip to the micropipette and transfer 1 ml of prepared sample into trial 1 EC broth. Discard the tip. Close the tube with its cap loosely. Rotate the tube several times to mix the content. Attach another sterile tip and transfer another ml of prepared sample into trial to AC broth. Discard the tip again. Close the tube loosely. Rotate the tube several times to mix. Incubate the tube at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Take out the tube after incubation. Enrichment is done successfully. Now we will inoculate the enrichment culture broth on chromocult coliform agar plate. Burn an inoculating loop and cool inside the biosafety cabinet. Now rotate the trial 1 EC broth culture and pick one loop full of enrichment culture from it. Streak on first quadrant of the chromocult coliform agar plate. Burn and cool the loop again. Streak on 2nd, 3rd and 4th quadrant of the plate to complete the streaking. Trick the enrichment culture of trial 2 EC broth on the trial 2 chromocult agar plate in the same way.
incubate the plates at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Take out the plates after incubation. Consider the violet and blue colonies as E. coli, which is needed to be confirmed. For the confirmation, inoculate the presumptive E. coli colonies on EMB agar and SMAC agar plate by streaking method. Pick a colony from chromocult coliform agar plate and streak on SMAC agar plate. Label the plate. Pick another colony from the chromocult plate and streak on EMB agar plate. For details about streaking technique, take a look at our video. Video link is given in the description section. Label the plate. After inoculation, incubate both of the plates at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Take out the plates from the incubator after 24 hours and observe the plates for colony characteristics. E. coli gives metallic green sheen on EMB agar plate, so metallic green sheen on EMB plate confirms the presence of E. coli. E. coli gives pink colonies on SMAC agar media. So, pink color colonies on SMAC agar plate confirms the presence of E. coli. We observed violet colonies on chromocult coliform agar plate, pink colonies on sorbitol McConkey agar plate, and metallic green sheen on Yushin methylene blue agar plate. So, strongly we can say that E. coli is detected and present in the tested sample.